to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. I think I'm all done with this world. <laughs> I am. I am officially, oh, I think, done with this world, this planet. Same world, brother. Yeah, I'm all, I'm all checked out. Okay, and if you're telling happened? me we're not in a sim world, you're a uh, liar. Yeah. You're an absolute liar. This old nut. What's going on? Did you or did you not see the trailer for Cats yesterday? <laughs> I did see it. And you still think this is a real world we're living in? I might see it. <laughs> <laughs> not with our, our money. Not with our hard-earned oh, money. Oh, really? Yeah. You forbay me? Uh, yeah, I, I do for, forbay you to go to Cats in the movie theater. I don't know. It looked well done. And that song what? is such a institution, you know? He, here's what people are calling it online. Memories yeah, yeah. No, I, I'm... I'm Stacked cast, okay. Yep, Jennifer yep, Hudson, yep. one Blammo. of the best voices in the world. Blammo. Taylor Swift. Done. Understand it, right? Mm-hmm. Two, two of the very best doing it today, v vocally. Sure. Vocally. Um, um, when they put on those cat outfits. Yep. And then ran around. But it's also CGI too. So it is. There's yeah. like a. It's. So Gosh, it looks they could so have been good. wearing green rubber hoods. Uh huh. Um, Gosh, I am Ken, not Andrew Lloyd Webber. I mean, <laughs> nobody does it better in the musical game, you know? God <laughs> damn it. There's, there's no way this is a real world so we're living in anymore. So I watching it, laughing so hard because I was liking it. And in the back of my mind, I was like, Ross is going to hate this so much. There, there's a lot going on in the world. Sure. Right? Nobody can seem to agree on anything. Right. This this trailer for one brief moment, one one thirty six hour period, mm -hmm. united everyone around the world that this was the most terrifying Looks thing good. they've ever seen in their entire life. Looks I'm going to read you longest running musical. No on Broadway. Nope. Cats. Nope. Nope. Longest running. Nope. Uh, creepiest film of the year. Sure. More terrifying than it. Unnerving CGI is what they're saying. Um, it is one of the lowest rated trailers in YouTube history. <laughs> history? Um, I can't wait. I, 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 I couldn't believe what I was. I felt so uncomfortable. I actually time coded it to see what time I checked out of it. Mm -hmm. This is where I couldn't watch anymore. It was about one twelve, about a minute 12 is in. Is that when James Corden spits the thing? Yes. In the, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I, oh, I loved it. Nope. Who couldn't. else? Rebel Wilson in a fat cat suit. <laughs> well, oh, I'm so excited. No. I cannot wait to go. Um, there's a guy, and I'm going to, I don't know who this is. Uh, he's got a blue check mark next to his name, so What's he must be name? important like myself What's on Twitter. Name? E. Alex Jung. Alex Young? Jung? Jung with a J. That's a hard J in that, Jesse. Like Jesse, it's not Yesi. Right? right. Well, to some people it is. Yeah. Which people? You know, send her back, send her back. <laughs> no, uh, he had the comment of the day for me on Twitter. Mm -hmm. He says now BC actually stands for before cats. So oh, you were I witnessing like the I dawn like of a new era. I, I'm I, like, I'm with him. It used to be before Christ. Now it's before cats. I can't not get that out of my mind. I can't sear that out of my brain. Um, <laughs> I mean, I just... There was another tweet under it that said, help control the pe pet population. Have your pets spayed and neutered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, <laughs> yep. Uh, <laughs> there was one, though, that made me sad. This... this <laughs> there was... It was a group of people who videotaped themselves watching it live because they worked in the tone, like, like the Tony nomination building. Okay. Obviously, Cats is based on the Broadway play. Longest running Broadway play. Cats. Cats. And yep. Um, yep. yep. So it said the office has never been more tense 
then in five minutes before and then five minutes after the release of the Cats trailer. Because obviously they were probably looking forward to it. And then five minutes later, once the backlash started to roll in. Sure. I mean, what do you do and say that? Because that's your, you're right. This is the longest running Broadway show in the history of Broadway. And you've seen it, right? I've seen it on Broadway. Me too. Gosh, Um, the majesty. My my parents took me. Same with me. (laughs) Yeah. And, you know, it's humans painted as cats and they're walking through the the walkways so right fun. next to you they get real in your face they're real so aggressive fun. About oh it. yes yeah cat-like mo- movements so the, the last time there was a set of backlash this big for a movie was uh, a trailer for sonic the hedgehog came out and everybody was so pissed off at what the hedgehog looked like they actually pushed the movie a year it's jim carrey's in it he's one of the leads oh that's right they actually pushed the movie a year so cgi wise they could go back in and fix the hedgehog and they apolo- like the director came out and, and issued an apology. I don't know what you do with this because this is done. This is coming out. This was probably gonna. Oh yeah. Probably gonna be their they what they thought their shot at some Oscars and look. Already fandangoed. Yeah, oh God. <laughs> I am so. I'm going. I'm in. It looks so fun. J Hud could probably get best song out of this. For the memory song, what the, what's the real name Absolutely. of it? Absolutely. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't either. Um, I'm just doing this to piss you off anyway. I could, but, but this, I, I was trying to think of when the last time a human cat movie worked. And the, the last one that kind of shuttered the, yeah. the, the franchise. Bill Murray. Even that, it, wasn't, it was animated. The, oh, yeah. Didn't they do a real one? No, no. Uh, it was Cat in the Hat. And so, oh, and that's another. Is that Jim Carrey as so, well? No, that was Mike Myers. Oh, okay. Bombed so bad mm-hmm. that they were like, man, because everybody was like, just humans, humans human as cats, cats don't work. Are creepy, yeah. Um, but there's like, it, it appeared that there was Jane, uh, Dame Judy Dench in oh, this yes. as well. Yes, um, yes, yes. I mean, I, there's man. Jason Derulo is an interesting one for me in this. Jason Derulo. I think before he comes on screen, it's mandatory that somebody scream that out. Yes, but he was the only choice that I was like, really? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to read you some other comments. I was un- Maya Kossoff. I was unprepared for how viscerally jarring it would be that the cats have human hands. I didn't notice that part. Oh, yes. Uh, I yes, was real distracted yes. by... Uh, I was more distracted by everything else that was going on. When they bend, they, yeah, they've got human hands and feet, and the rest of them is cats. Somehow the people, this is uh, Gavia Baker Whitelaw, big fan of that name. She threw a hyphen in there, it appears. Um, somehow the people in cats look more nude than if they were actually nude, and that's weird as hell. That's what <laughs> I got out of it. I could see... It would appear to be Taylor Swift's vagina, vagina bone. Vagina, yeah. What do you call the vagina bone? I mean. The vag bone? Yeah. The coccyx? Pelvis, but yeah. Yeah. What do you call that bone? It kind of juts out a little bit. The, the coccyx? Pelvis, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah the right vagina in. bone? Pelvis, yeah. Oh, uh, so it's, it's the vag bone. Okay. Yep. Cunt bone. The old cunt bone, yeah. Cunt bone, yeah. Pelvic girdles is uh, is what pelvic the, floor. What, yeah. what Jamie has said off screen. Yeah, the, the pelvic girdle. Mm-hmm. When I when I could see that through the the human cat body is when I just uh-huh. I was long gone in that. So I don't I don't know. I I think this is our this generation's showgirls. I'm calling it now. I'll let you know. Like I said, I fandangoed already. I am going. And I'll let you know. Oof, that oh, was. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun. I'm just gonna go with it, you know. That was. I'm not a curmudgeon like everyone else in the world. That was. Uh, oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, couldn't do it, my man. I mean, I could not fucking do it for a whole the whole trailer. That's the first time that I've never been able to watch a whole trailer in my entire life. In entertainment wise, because I was just like, all right, cool, man. I just I had to throw it on the phone and I thought to myself, I'm going to be sick. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to 
probably have some uh, s- some dick skin issues. I thought that, mm-hmm. and then something happened magically an hour later that just boom popped it right back up. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got a, got a bunch of text messages. Top Gun Two trailer has been released, yeah. and I, I was I I didn't I, I didn't almost didn't know whether or not I could pick up my phone. Right. After what I just saw. And I was like, I can't, I can't take two in a row today. Mm-hmm. I cannot take two in a row today. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden I hear the. <laughs> full erection through the skin. I called every physician in the Wilmington area and they said, look, we can't fix this. Mm-hmm. There's nothing we can do for this. Now that I'm in for it. Yeah, it was not a very, it was not a fully formed trailer. I don't really know what's going on. What I got from it was like. In Top Gun? Yeah, I got the nostalgia of the song. I got seeing Cruise, but. um, Oh, Jabes. We are growing apart because this trailer did not do anything for Malloy. Come on. That song, yeah. But that song always does, right? They were using certain things that were, you know, cheats. Triggers. They were using certain triggers that like make you think it's a good trailer. But what happens? What's it's about? What is it about? It's Who Tom else Cruise. is in the fucking movie? Tom Cruise kicking ass, man. So, I don't really know what's going on. It's TC, Tom. hombre. It's TC. I'll have to see another trailer when they maybe show one other person that's fucking in it. Um, one other name. Um, you know, it's funny. Those uh, we're friends with Miles Teller in real life. I, I know he's one of the co-leads. Yeah. He did not Where have was one, his face and his one name? shot of it. Um, um, but it was probably look, I think this first go round with this trailer because this movie's not coming out for another year. Away. Yeah. So that's what it felt like to me. It felt like, hey, you guys have been asking for it. Here's a couple shots Here's a quick, of some planes some quick and the song and Tom Cruise on a bike and putting on the jacket. But it was not the trailer that's going to do it for me. Well, it did it for me. And maybe because, I, again, what I went through with cats. Yeah, and I think you were, I think anything would have been good for you at that point. So, um, Hit me at the right time. Yeah. And that's life. You know what I'm saying? That's sure. life. Sometimes and maybe things that's hit how you the, the right cat's time. trailer was for me, where it's just like hit me at the right time. If it was yesterday, nope. Yep. I would have hated it. Yeah. I've been in the right place. But it must have been a wrong time. I've been in the right place. But it must have been a wrong time. Gorgeous. He Gorgeous. just passed away. Who? That that guy who sings that <laughs> Who's song. That guy. Oh, fuck, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> it's terrible that I don't know his name. Jamie. Uh, but I, I, it's terrible that I don't know his name. But at the Rolling Stones concert, the opening band from New Orleans, because the guy's from New Orleans. Uh-huh. Uh huh. He sang it. It's like Doctor Somebody. Oh, Doctor John. Maybe. Uh, I don't Doctor, know. Either way, Doctor Love. But Doctor Doctor John. John. Yeah. Uh. They played that, okay. You know, in tribute to him. Gotcha. Because he's from New Orleans and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, that's anyway. They should play that. <laughs> that the Cats trailer and then Top Gun back to back with that song. <laughs> I've been in the right place, but it must have been the wrong time. I've been in the right place. Your face too, the Joker face while you're doing it. Uh, was I doing that? Yeah. Yeah. Either way, n- needed to happen. But uh, yeah, the, the the Top Gun two trailer hit me square between the i'm happy that you got what you needed from it because it was not a good trailer oh boy top gun (laughs) 2 it was not a good trailer a lot of nostalgia not a nostalgia Eh. we get somebody off camera giving it the thumbs down that person's also just the trailer uh, i'm not saying the movie's not going to be good i just think they did it too early they're not ready to make an awesome trailer yet yeah but they wanted to give you a little taste of like shut up we are actually doing it and that's what it felt like to me. It felt like they were telling me to shut up. And I don't like people to tell me that. Yeah. Well, you know that. Why don't you shut up? Um, the guy who's off camera, by the way, who gave it the thumbs down is uh, anatomically incorrect. He's not correct. If you pull down his, um, he's incorrect. If you pull down his pants, his jeans and his underwear, uh, <laughs> it is smooth. There is no D, no B's, uh, okay. no, no brethren. 
no brethren <laughs> like myself. Um, again, I call my package my, my brethren. And is that shorn or is it just a patch of hair? All of it. Shorn all the way so clean. It's totally yeah. 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 Outfit. I've been in the right place, but it must have been a wrong time. Yeah. Well, either way, look, um, that's what happened yesterday. That's what yeah. I was going through. Me too. And uh, I wanted to share that with you because I, I'm, I, I am sure there is people at home that are, went through the same thing yesterday. Mm-hmm. And uh, write in. Let us know what you think. Um, I, I even posted that Top Gun trailer last night in Drinking Bros. I don't mind what, getting the hate. To, kind, to get, get what everybody the thinks about the, the Top Gun trailer. A lot of people were like, hey, man, I'm in because I'm nostalgic for the movie and I love the movie. And, and at least, you know, nostalgia-wise, I'm in for that. But most people were like, man, it's probably going to suck. It's been 34 years. That's a 34-year gap between sequels. That is, that's the longest that I what can remember. What I liked uh, when I heard that they were making it is that, that he was going to be in the position of the like bald guy, right? Like He was going to be in the, back in the, in the office, and they were going to send old Miles. He was going to be... Right. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I don't like that it's still him trying to do it. Cockpit. That feels. We need him in the cockpit. It feels a little bit like you're trying to fight Father Time, and no one can win Oof. against Father Time. No one. Yeah. Uh, s- speaking of which, is breaking news. Tiger Woods did not make the cut in the British Open, and he actually said, "Perfect segue." Father Time is ca- caught up with me, and I just want to go home. Um, no, he didn't. Yes, he did. I don't like that from him. I don't him. either, man. I don't That's like weird. that from him. It's weird for Tiger, man. Uh, what a weird thing to he say. Lo- he looks, because they've, sh- they've got a shot of him at this press conference right now. He looks exhausted. Just absolutely exhausted. And he's played zero golf this year. Uh, one of the things he said is he took his family to Thailand after the U.S. Open. And he's like, the, the travel and the air for a vacation. I was like, hey, man, uh, you should probably not f- travel to Thailand during yeah, the middle man, of I the went to New golf Orleans season. for fucking three days and I am still recovering. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I it, you need to be staying it, in the game. It's strange. He never did that shit before. Strange. What lived his life? I know because his dad would fucking beat him. Well, you also have an off time in golf where, you know. Yeah, like after, that would have been the time. Yeah, yeah. October yeah, yeah, yeah. to fucking sure. April is pretty much your off, man. The golf season is only like six, seven months. Gotcha. You have five months off to, you know, jerk hard, do whatever you want go to thailand that's a that's a strange one to me mm. during the middle of the season like no wonder you're fucking Maybe exhausted. that crazy crazy little uh jewish minx spinner yeah that he's dating made her made him fucking go because she is crazy yeah you can tell it right mm-hmm. he, she brings other girls into the bedroom oh yeah i can see Smacks her Smacks him around yeah i can see her out at a like a tgi fridays like, oh yeah with pick, a crop top yep. a red crop top picking up wool some trim you know huh Huh? Is that what? I'm sorry. Picking up some wool, some trim, Is that what right they off call the bar. Yeah, the TGI wool? Fridays with a crop top. Yeah, with the underboob. Looking oh, for some yeah, nice yeah, underboob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The picking up wool. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I want to. I, I like the under nut thing that's going around right now, where it's uh, just dudes cutting holes <laughs> in the bottom of their jeans, letting <laughs> just, the, just the just the two the bottom of the two uh-huh. plums, the two danglers, uh, just kind of sitting there i love the comparison out. yeah well i think it's 20 it's 2019 mm-hmm. this is this is a quality now i want my my plums to just kind of hang to just kind of dangle out sure you know how nice that would be cooling oh my gosh yeah what actually be great it's fucking breaking records in half of the usa right now. i'm one of the heat. weird gals that likes just a t-shirt and socks like that's a sexy look for me on dudes on dudes yeah <laughs> Ooh, yeah, <laughs> Jesus yeah, yeah. When? When, when has that white, ever been a thing? A white undershirt t-shirt. Yeah. A little bit longer. All right. So that you can just see, like, the tip and the dip of something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then You want the socks. tip out. Yeah. Socks only. Just hard socks mm. going across a nice mm-hmm. hardwood floor. Mm-hmm. A Bend over, sheen. grab something, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah you don't want to see that. Get something out of the bottom drawer. You know what I mean? <laughs> God. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. It's Nobody wants to see. cringe just thinking about it. Yeah, you don't yeah. want to see another man's no. asshole. No, 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 no. That's off limits, man. 
Uh, that is way off limits. Jesus, James, get a hold of yourself, man. I'm into, I'm into some weird stuff. I'm gonna, man. I'm gonna be, like I'm gonna be realsies. Socks. I'm gonna be realsies with with the audience here. I think the Cats trailers really affected both of us in different ways. Oh, we're growing apart for sure because of this. Yeah, you're, we were on the rocks before. Yep. Now we're uh, we're in the fucking deep end. Show me that smile again. again. Now we're going growing pains. Now. Yeah, crowning pains. This is uh, this is what we're going through right now. Just a crowning. We're we gonna talk about anything that matters or no? Nah, we All won't. We right. won't. No, we actually can. Uh, Bernie Sanders today. His campaign workers have demanded fifteen dollars an hour hourly pay because I guess they weren't getting that before. Yeah, Bernie's fighting. Cecil. Fight for the real man, you know? Well, that's his whole campaign. So they're probably like, hey, you hey, got to pay us that. Can we least. slide it, hop let's it on down the bunny it, trail? Let's start it here or what? Yeah. What the fuck? What the fuck? You know, what? he bought a beach house with 900000 in cash, right? I didn't know that. No. Yeah. Yeah. He's got a fucking beach house, nine hundred grand in cash. And he, he released his taxes. That does not sound like a real. Where well, is it? Uh, it is up in like Rhode Island, I believe. I believe they're oh, from okay. like Delaware or Rhode Island or wherever the fuck they are. Um, because that's on the cheaper side, I feel. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, look, if you're up in Rhode Island, that's uh, that's that's probably what wh- where you need to be, price wise. Sure, not a great beach, like you can't really swim there, but you can see the water, sort of thing. No, you can get it. You can get a beach house up and down the coast, other than like fucking New Jersey or New York. Like, yeah, that'll probably do it right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not going to be like that for another two years but, but right Not now because I, I think he bought it two years ago it. right yeah. uh he, well, he actually bought it before he ruins the economy right yeah okay um and he uh by the way tur- turned in his taxes because he was like i want trump to turn his taxes sure. i'm gonna turn in mine mm-hmm. and he was making like you know one five one one eight a year and it was just like Hey, bro. And he's like, well, I've been very fortunate or whatever. It was like, no, no you worked for it. Like, yeah, you don't have to be okay. ashamed of yeah, yeah. how much money you made. Mm-hmm. Like, that's not a fucking deal. Uh, but when you're out here fighting for the real man, you know, mm-hmm. and then you can't pay $15 an hour to, to your employees, like, that's, you're not, that's not the real man. Right. It's not the, you know, throw the fist up kind of, kind of bro, the Bernie bro. <laughs> Um, feel the burn. You feel the burn. You feel the burn. Yeah. Um, and then CNN last night uh, had a. The best way to describe this is a. It was almost like a fantasy football draft for the. Uh, the debates of who would be facing who. Ooh, I like it. Anderson Cooper was the host. Yeah, it was like Mel Kiper Jr. during the college. Not have a little during the NFL draft that. or something. I, I guess. It was strange to see when I was just like, oh, as they were like, ooh, who's going to be up next? Yeah, yeah, this yeah. person. And you were like, oh, all right, cool. Uh, here's the slate that they picked last night um, on the 30th, July 30th. So that'll be coming. That's, man, it's coming up in like 10 days. Uh, Bernie Sanders. Mm-hmm. Uh, ooh, Elizabeth Warren on the same stage. The two of those they fucks. They have to. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I- I'm surprised they wouldn't put Knock them apart. Knock out one of them? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Buttigieg, mm-hmm. Klobuchar, Beto O'Rourke. God, he's still going to live another day. Huh? God, he, he keeps talking and he probably should stop because, uh, day before yesterday he wanted, he, he came out and said, look, my, my ancestors have owned slaves and I'm not proud of it. Um, I don't, I mean, did he know his ancestors, but back in the 17, 1800s, maybe I get, I get, did he 23 and But I aunt? thought he was trying to say that he's like. Not white, like Beto, I, I, I guess Beto. I don't. I don't. You know, I, everything that he's doing is incorrect. Like, and you could just take his whole story and model, and really put that out there for candidates to never do again. Right. Everything he's going for. That guy was riding high, riding dirty at the mm, top. He could know? have just shut his fucking mouth and gone all the way to the top. No, because eventually you got to talk, and that's what happened. Right. <laughs> that's what happened. He got he vetoed. I think I think they're gonna call it vetoed. Yeah. Uh, by the way, be- veto is a uh, popular form of uh, fart medication. That uh, Beano. Ah, uh, wrong one, huh? Yep. I'm pronouncing that wrong. Yeah. I gotta brush up on my Spanish. Really need to brush up on my Spanish. Beano. Uh, Steve Bullock. Don't know him. Um, John Delaney's in that one. Hmm. Again. Probably the smartest guy on that stage, sure. but uh, Bozo Ring. Not going to do it. Yeah, they don't want anything to do with him. Uh, John Hickenlooper, Tim Ryan, and then she's back. <laughs> yes. 
No, that author lady. Yes. God. Brother. I live for this shit. What is Two hours of this doing? woman off. And here's the thing. So all of them have like governor. Senator, right, mayor, mm -hmm. and then it just says author, author, Marianne Williamson. God, she was so. She's so back. How do they let her back good. on that stage? <sighs> That's crazy to me. Yeah, thirty uh, first, the next night, uh, Biden. Sure, so you got Joe Biden, and they put him with Kamala Harris of course again. They did. Wow, That's for ratings, not random. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my God! And then they put Cory Booker with him too. So if you tell me this is going to turn into a racial divide and not that episode to bring down Biden, that yeah. seems a little too fucking on the nose, man. Because the two of them are going to go all in on Biden. This is... Oh, yeah. Because they're... I don't think Kamala Harris is... I think she's going to make this top six. But Booker's not. So he has nothing to lose by going all in on Biden. He's not going to make it, huh? No. Um, he's, he's pulling at about 2% right now. Okay. But I think... I think he's set up for like a VP situation anyway, so it doesn't really matter. What about Wang? Uh, Wang. Yep. He, so he's on there. Uh, Julian Castro's on here. Mm. Um, Andrew Yang is on here. Uh, Tulsi Gabbard. Mayor Bill de Blasio from New York. Then obviously. Who's out? Uh, Michael Bennett. Kristen, that Gillibrand, or Kirsten Gillibrand. Is up or out? She, no, they're all in. So this is the second night. Uh, and then Jay Inslee. That rounds out the second night. When did they start knocking people off? This after this this okay. this is the, okay. this is the last one. So they got, got two it. debates with twenty, and then they're down to six after got this. You. So people are going to be going all in on this. Interrupting. Oh, to the the nth degree. I mean, in this one alone, this not answering questions. This second night alone, Biden, Kamala Harris, Booker, Julian Castro, the three of them against Biden because Biden's still the front runner, right? And then. This that Chris that Kirsten Gillibrand or have a fucking Gillibrand? pronounce it whatever. Gilla? Um, Gillibrand. Uh, she's the one who keeps interrupting. Well, she's just trying to get her fucking right, but trying to fight for stage time against all of these heavy hitters. Mm -hmm. Good luck. This is going to be a just an absolute roundhouse kick to the face that night, um, and that it's going to be crazy to watch. But yeah, they, they were drafting last night. Like, like it was the NFL draft. I love it. And it was a two hour special on CNN <laughs> hosted by Anderson Cooper. And they were like, ooh, and who do we have? And they put the pictures up. I bet that like was Coop Dog's fucking idea. I bet they do that on him and, yeah, him I don't and know. Andy's fucking show. Um, Somebody came out. Did you read the, the, the comments by Kathy Griffin? No. Um, on what? She spoke out against Cooper. And uh, uh, and Andy Cohen. What'd she say? They weren't they weren't friends to her during during her fucking thing. Something about uh, yeah, she's no longer friends with uh, Ellen DeGeneres. Um, I mean, she went all in on everybody pretty much, and I don't know what's happening with her her hair. She's trying to grow it back out. Oh, after cutting it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I mean, she, look. She went in on. Uh, she says she still hasn't spoken with Anderson Cooper mm -hmm. at all. I think but I heard, and I think she said this, but I heard that he called her after the whole thing and was just like, "Hey, you know, lay low, <laughs> apologize." Yep. Uh, I got. I gotta go. And Kathy Griffin. Go. Kathy Griffin. Because I, I, Andy Cohen went on Stern and just said, "Look, I, I think that she hates me because I got the job on CNN." And I'm on Bravo all these hours. And I forgot that Kathy Griffin had that, that show on Bravo for Yeah, but a long Andy time. put her on there. Yeah. Andy um, put her on Bravo and put all of her specials. He would run her special or comedy specials like every weekend, dude. So here, here's what she said about Andy Cohen bringing, I, bringing the heat. Okay, please. They were asking her if, if she had any, any interest in returning fire on him or making peace. And she said, why? If he is a skill set, I would like to know what that is. That's right. It's hard to name one for Andy Cohen. It's a good point, Kathy, though. It's a good <laughs> point, but I'm sorry. You're just in, in the bottom position talking about someone who is richer than God on the top of the world right now. So 
Yeah. I, I hear you. She called Ellen DeGeneres an un, uh, a fucking, this is a quote, a fucking untalented hack. Ellen DeGeneres? I yep. would say comedy-wise, maybe. Boy. She might be right. I think that she, Ellen DeGeneres is so good at all these other things. Her comedy was never yeah. my <sighs> cup of tea. I don't ever. I, here's the thing. It, it's hard to go in after Ellen. I mean, she was a. In That's the, why I love that she's doing it. In the late 80s. Are so scared to no, 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 not that. I, I'm saying as a comedian, like in the in the late 80s, her and Seinfeld and those guys were the fucking they were the top man. Like that was it. They were and the biggest true. of the big. It was just a different style of comedy. It's a different style of comedy. So, so you can, although I don't like it, I'm not a fan of it. You wouldn't call it hacky. No, it's just a, a it's just a, a completely unique, different style of of comedy, man. It, it's I, I put it in the Bill Cosby category of this clean comedy where it's just you know, uh, and Ellen was is is and was pretty fast. Like she's pretty quick. So. I think in real life, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'm not gonna. I won't side with that one. Now, Andy Cohen, on the other hand, I just think he's really good at being friends with everyone. And yeah, so what's the skill set there? Um, we've said this about Jared before, right? There's this thing of like putting people together. Yes. Bringing the right people to the right place uh, at the right time, time. and it's all hard the to time. do. It's hard to do, and that. I would say if you have to name a skill set of Andy Cohen, that would have to be it. And just working his fucking ass off his whole life from fucking PA getting coffee to literally running a network. So yeah. I don't know. I like the use being the, nice. I like that you use the Jared Taylor analogy and, and for half the audience that does listen to drinking bros. I said this in an interview, actually. Um, I, I think it was on the, the red carpet for not another war story or, or not a war story. Um, if you look at it, Jared put everybody together for Black Rifle Coffee, mm -hmm. Range 15, mm -hmm. Drinking Bros podcast, um, the movie, the whiskey, Blood Slayers. <laughs> I mean, all of these weird connections were Jared. A lot of those huge guests what we got on the podcast mm -hmm. were Jared. And I think like Andy Cohen, like, dude, if, you're, if you have somebody like that. he also brings them together, but then he'll also... Make it a party, make it fun, yeah. make everybody, you know, bring out the best in all of them. So I don't know. That's a hard person to find in life. So with Andy Cohen, look, there, it's undeniable. He did all of the Real Housewives. Yes. He uh, made, he turned Bravo from the opera channel to what yeah, it yeah. is today. To, so. to one of the biggest um, channels on the planet. And then his show, I, I, personally, I like his late night show. I think it's great. Yeah. I like the format. I like that, you know, they get real answers is out of people. Good people at are it? drinking. Not really. But <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, is he a good interviewer? Is he good at, you know, is he a pro at all of that? No, but you just like him. And the people that are on there like him. So she's right. Even this, even the show. Yeah. Is he a good host of a late night show? Absolutely not. Is he good on the fucking New Year's thing? No, he's horrible. But you like him, you know? Yeah, I do. I do wrong. like Andy She's Cohen. not wrong, but from the position that she's saying it to him. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I, there you go. The answer is right there. I, I have nobody my, likes her. My little beef against Andy Cohen, obviously. Um, For not being on his show. My book was offensive and uh I think for here's the thing. He I think for it. him I think for him personally, he may like it, but he has a certain image as well. So like I see him as like reading it and thinking it's funny and being like, Fuck, I cannot put this on here. I can't. Right. I want to, I can't. I don't know, man. He's smart. He's gotten this far not from doing shit that's either way that'll that'll always piss me off probably. Okay. Um until I get on there, and then I'll actually tell them, because it, it's, it is live, right? It is live. I mean, obviously, nothing's really, really live anymore, but... But if there's, there's a five-second delay, yeah. that's fine. I, live is live at that point. Like, I can, stretch a, I can stretch a five seconds. Oh, and if it's drama, he'll put it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he won't cut out. Whatever you say, he's going to leave it in. Yeah. Um, if, if it ever happens, we'll see. 
But uh, he's got a serious XM show now. Yeah. Um, that, that's, I, I think, doing pretty well. Uh, early. As well as serious XM I thought he would have been good do. on the, uh, instead of Seacrest in the morning with uh, Kelly Ripa. He would have, but he's not a morning person. Well, I think he's doing a morning show for Sirius XM now. Yeah, but he doesn't have, he wears his big glasses and doesn't put on any makeup. And Oh, really? Yeah, he's like, he just roll, he rolls yeah. in and he's just like, all right, how much money? Yes. All right. So he doesn't have to like get ready in any way. I would do an audio show at five in the morning as well. Not video. <laughs> oh, is it just audio? No video? Yeah. So it's serious. Okay. They don't do video for. No, no, no. Andy's. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Uh, we got some sponsors to get to, James. Look at oh us. Oh, my gosh. Look at us just getting just Cats. chatting away. Cats got me off the off my, my game today, Cats man. really has torn us apart. Yeah. I mean, this this may be the nail in the fucking coffin. <laughs> and how, about, how do you cite it on you know on the divorce papers? You know what I mean? Cats. The cats trailer. Uh, no, we take a paw and then we dip it in ink and then put it <laughs> right on the thing. Is Ross and they'll sign? know. Yep. I'll call my attorney and yeah. say, look, I don't want to sign my signature. I want to I want to find a, a cat in an alley, dip his paw in ink, and then that be the boom divorce. That would be that be the end of it. Just stamp it right on the paper and put it out there, and then you're in the background I bet singing. You people like it. Memories. Oh God! You want to talk about having real memories? Get yourself a ghost bed from ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Yeah, if you're newly divorced because of cats and you want to just lay in your bed Oof. all by yourself. Yeah. God, you, what a you, dream. Uh, here's how much I love ghost bed. Um, <laughs> I would not let a cat in that goddamn thing. Obviously. I don't people want do, cats man. anywhere. People sleep with their cats. Whenever Ugh. I see photos of, of people's cats in their beds, I want to vomit all over my ding dong. So if you're going to do it in a, in a ghost bed, get, at least get the protective cover. Yeah. Because uh, it's gross and it stinks. And uh, let's face it. You think that it's awesome having a cat and sleeping with the cat and all that mm -hmm. shit. If you have people over, you can smell it. You can smell it in their bed and on the sheets. Don't do it. But do get a mattress from ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. They got sheets. They got, dude, the ghost pillows, dude, are free if you're getting the mattress right now. Oh, that's a good... Best, best in the biz, man. I fucking love this company. 15% um, off if you're military or first responder. Scroll down to the bottom of the page. It's there forever, forever at ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. And as always, 36 months, pay as you go, no interest program. Nobody's offering. Pro. Program. It reminds me of those uh, commercials as a kid up in uh, my grandparents lived in New Jersey. Um where they had the, the whiz. Nobody beats the whiz. Nobody beats the whiz. And it was this dude who was selling shit. And he'd be like, no interest. No fucking payments down. Oh. He's just a dirty Jimmy. Like, sure, I don't sure, know what sure, his sure, name sure, was. Sure. I yeah, forget. Yeah, yeah. But it was the whiz. Nobody beats the whiz. Nobody beats Ghost Bed. Uh, so go there. Get a mattress. Ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. Next up, we got StrikeForceEnergy.com. Shabloinkers. Yeah, that sounded like three cats fighting. In an alley, Jesse. That's how everything's going to sound to you now. Yeah. Memory. Quit. Why? I have, the, I have a very nice falsetto. Uh, Strike Force Energy will give you a nice falsetto as well. Uh, Orange, original, make America grape again, and Don Lemon. Um. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Please get, don't. Get, get yourself a, a box of Don Lemon. It'll, it'll make you puck up like this. And then I'll make you you bitch for an hour afterwards. Because uh, maybe you need it. Maybe you hate your, your, your employees. Uh, and if you need to stay up, no carbs, no sugars. Best in the biz. Strikeforceenergy.com. 10-pack, 40-pack, 750-milliliter bottle. You can kick the can. You don't need it anymore. Just a tasty, tiny little tin pouch that rips open and squeezes in any liquid available. Go to strikeforceenergy.com today. Type in the promo code REVOLUTION for 20% off. Last but not least, this is what they came for, Jobless. For what? StraightRazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut smooth. <laughs> Are you right? Oh, God. It was the end of that one. 
It was like a, <laughs> yeah, you got a little fur you in your mouth. A little fur ball. Yeah. Ugh. Uh, I'd like to take one of those straight razors to those cats. Shave them up. We get it. You Let's, hate the cats. I want to see them all nude. I want to see all those cats all nude. <laughs> they are nude. Creepy. They could be. They should be. Why have human and why have human feet and hands? That's fucking weird, man. But There's James gonna be a Gordon lot of is wearing clothes. Yeah, well, shave up, dude. Right. Uh, go to straightrazors.com. I got everything you need to be a real man in this life. I got uh, beard oils, mustache waxes, conditioners, shampoos. Uh, they've got a new thing called the Dick Wash, which is nice. Um, what it is is it's uh, it's like a wire brush for to clean out baby bottles. And then you can just wash your dick off in the sink with it. Okay. Uh, now, that's not a thing, but it should be. So if uh, anybody from straightrazors.com is listening, <laughs> think about making that. <laughs> the way we read straightrazors.com every day is... I'm, I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> that there's still a sponsor. Go to straightrazors.com. Get yourself a shaving kit. Um, just a kit. Type in the promo code REVOLUTION. You know that's getting you 20, 20% off. And that's a big, big savings there. A real big boy savings. Jobs? Yes. Um, what's happening in your world today? Because you woke me up this morning and you said, hey, what time are you going to be home from the gym and all that other stuff tonight? Uh-huh. And you said, our, our son's going to have a, a dinner date <laughs> at Indosheen, which is like so- a... To my knowledge, is an Indian restaurant. No, it's not Indian. It's like, um, you know, it's like Thai. Like, yeah, curry, pad Thai, whatever. No, Americanized thai? thai restaurant. Yeah. With outdoor little like bungalows that you can uh, reserve. Sure. So our, our five-year-old son is going out with a... Uh, not his idea. So the, the mom called mm-hmm. and she put her daughter on like you know voice text uh yes i do so you're like sending your voice text it's not really a call but anyway yes so and she said i would like to go on a date with Jax, and i don't know if she said she wanted to go to indochine but she wanted to have din- a dinner date with Jax. okay and she's very uh, forward. She's five, right? She's five. Double but checking. She, yeah. Yeah. But she's very, I don't know. She's a forward gal. Okay. You know? And so you, you agreed to this. So who's all going tonight? So it's going to be the moms. Okay. We're going to supervise. Um, but her dad, this girl's dad already is like, I've got my eye on you, Jax. Yeah. Like every time they hang out. And. This girl is the aggressor, okay? I want to say that yeah, first yeah, and yeah. foremost. Yeah. She's the one that's going after him. And the dad is like, eyes on you, bud. Yeah. I see you. So I, I didn't tell you this, but I, because I, she had a birthday party, I think, and I picked him up from the house. Yes. Uh, it was like an uh, end of school party or whatever. And so I was just, you know, I walked over. I, I you know, I, I know him casually. I don't, yeah, you just know, because we don't live in the same neighborhood. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, so I walk up to the door. Kids are playing slip and slide and doing all that stuff in the front yard, right? And uh, uh, I was like, hey, man, what's up? And he goes, uh, you looking for Jax? I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm looking for Jax. He goes, yeah. they're inside on the couch playing family together. I was like, oh, who else is doing that? Just him and my daughter. And yeah, well, like, that's, it's a game that all the kids play, but anyway. Okay. Yeah. Um, so they play family and their mom and dad. And it's the new doctor. We're going to play doctor. Oh God! Like, mm. Does that go back to incest porn? Then are we there? You know? What? Seems like that's all the rage now is incest porn. That's that's on. But you they're know? not. Uh, do you, did you play doctor as a kid? I I'm sure I did. Did anybody show you your privates? Did they show you their privates? I'm sure they did. Them? Yeah, I'm sure they did. Yeah. yeah. But family <laughs> is you're playing like mom and dad. Okay. So if anyone's going to do anything, it's probably the mom and dad. Gotcha. All right. All right. I mean, it's better, but he was not stoked. He no, was not he is stoked not stoked. Me. Yeah. 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 Our kid's pretty good looking. Yeah. Not real bright. Okay. Yeah. Not going to be in the gifted classes whatsoever. Probably get held back, but cute as a button. He looks like, uh, like Logan Paul. And that's all that really matters. Yeah. 
Be nice good looking kid. and be good looking and you'll be fine. You'll be great in this life. You'll do great. Some some people say that's all you need is your looks. You've coasted by pretty fucking handily, James, <laughs> on just your looks for many, many years. Um, and then I talk and it's all all downhill. Uh, yeah. All downhill. All beatoed. Yeah, beat-oed. it's all it's all beatoed after that. <laughs> You're all beatoed out. Because you have a, an empty computer that sits in front of you with nothing on it. <laughs> I know, it really is. No words, no right letters, now. no nothing. Um, yeah, so basically it's now it's just an excuse for us to go out and drink some wine while the kids... I may have him bring her flowers or something. Is that weird? If she wants a date... Don't do that, no. we're not, We're not going there. We're not buying corsages or things like that he can bring her a little flower that could be cute bring a set of handcuffs then because that's that's pretty much next james um cuff up you know uh (laughs) you have the sun like calm down the the other guy's the one that needs to worry no no no. i'm i'm fine with it it's just you know like indochine is also not a not a cheap restaurant you know it's not like they're going to mickey d's sitting by the, the ball pit i suggested whiskey creek but okay Kids eat free, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I was vetoed, and uh, Indochine was the. Uh, I think I think the moms want Indochine. That's what it is. Probably. Either way, shit. I mean, shit. Because <laughs> the kids don't eat that. <laughs> what did you? What, what did you turn to the south side of Detroit, man? Probably, man. Probably shit. Probably shit, man. I mean, shit. it's nice as shit <laughs> out, and we wanna, you know, sit out in a bungalow. <laughs> <laughs> right so, i think the yeah. mom shows so that up. and then yeah two kids eating an indo you opted out oh, the dads yeah, were invited but they both opted out no so. i'm good i'm good on that whole sitch i'm gonna go to the gym lift some steel you know mm-hmm. we're gonna cool. we're gonna blast my pecs you know cool. let my brethren hang out i'm gonna eat and drink and have fun so i know i don't get to do that anymore I don't get to do that. Uh, I want to talk about Gwyneth Paltrow because that's what you—that's what you've become here, going to and taking kids to Indo. <laughs> this picture, the Goopinar. God, if you—if you, f- you want to just ever feel awful about yourself as a woman in society, I love or, to. Um, I love to do that. It's do it just—it's just. <laughs> what is it? She posted a just- picture in the Hamptons. Of herself and the princess of Norway. Sure. Just hanging out, having a dip in the pool. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's, just a, it's just such a surreal life to me that I can't wrap my mind around it. But she, it seems normal to her. Yeah, because she's always been rich. Her mom. Yeah, has both of her parents. Been, yeah. yeah. So she, to her, that's normal. And that's the, uh, it's the shittiness of goop is you're just like. You, your experiences are not universal. Yeah. And it's fine if, if you understand that. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's fine if you get that what you're suggesting that people buy this $3,000 infrared sauna. Wow. If you suggest that, do you I know what I mean? It. Yeah. But you know, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you're understanding what you're doing, then it's fine. It's <laughs> like, why, why not? There has to be rich people out there doing rich, cool shit. Yeah, no, no. Why I, not be you? For sure. It's just goopy jeans is preaching the, the health and wellness thing. Like, let's be honest. You can only be really healthy and healthy and super well if you're rich. Yeah. And I think that's the real shit of it. So you go to like these goopinars, the s- seminars. Is that what, did they call them goopinars? Yep. Stop. Mm-hmm. And um, shut up, Dan. You'll have your choice on your own show. Yeah. Um, we, get a, we get a man off, off camera here who's again. Goopinar. You know goop. Yeah, yeah. Do it's you want to go? Is still that still an the audio problem? show, Jesse? And uh, are you bummed that he's you not didn't mic'd. know? Are you bummed that you didn't know about Goopinar? So don't worry, I'll give you the info so you can go next time. Yeah. And it's just a <laughs> health and wellness, super, super expensive health and wellness vagina rejuvenation. They do that there. They do that. Yeah, vag, she steams, vag rejuve. She steams her her vag. That's a you get it steamed. Mm-hmm. That's the new hot thing, huh? Almost like you know your face. You get like a steam. Yeah, you yeah, Steam so out your vagina. She does that for the vag. How much does that cost? What is that? When does something Gosh, like that run you? Probably a million. <laughs> it's stuff yeah. like that where you're just like, fuck, like. Uh, sure, I'd love to, Gwyneth. Yeah. I would love to. Yeah. 
Get your I cannot get your badge, your badge steamed out. I'd, I'd like, love to do all the dumb shit that she does. I'd like to get the wrinkles taken out of my nutsack. That's not a thing yet, but um, it should be. Yeah. Um, and then because right underneath it, because they were they were having kind of like the pictures of the week, you know. Mm-hmm. We record the Monday show on Fridays. She's losing her upper lip, but yeah, that's fine. well. It's every the every only, white woman it's the loses only solace their upper, I can take in it. But upper yeah. lip, but mm-hmm. uh, this one's not. This one's not going to make you happy at all. Okay. Uh, pictures of the week that I saw here. Uh, there was a pic where Beyonce and Jay Z were meeting Prince Harry and Meghan Markle over the weekend. So that's a whole thing. If you There's only t- one person I like in that whole foursome, though. You don't like Jay Z? I like Jay Z. You don't like Prince Harry? Eh. All right. Go, go look up Prince Harry. I don't Harry's. like how much of a pussy he is now that he's with that fucking bitch. Yeah, but go back to old school Prince Harry, and I, and I would urge you listeners oh, to Google. I'd, get down, I'd fucking party with old school Harry, dude, for sure. Google, but now, not hunting because of his dumbass little bitch. Yeah. Um, I, again, you Google Prince Harry. Vegan? Playing pool. Because of his little bitch? Playing pool nude. Oh, I love it. In Vegas. I love it. Oh, I've seen it. I love it. It's awesome. He's in a hotel suite. A bunch of chicks and dudes just playing oh. pool, buck naked, hammered. God. It's great. Somebody he's snapped off a pick. It. He's missing that life for sure well, right now. He's hanging with, with Jay-Z and Beyonce. They're not hanging. Like, they got a photo op. They're shaking hands. They're not fucking partying. <laughs> you know what's weird? She Markle was on, won't allow that. She was on Suits for like eight years, obviously, right? Mm-hmm. That, like, being on a TV show, a hit TV show, that doesn't get you a meeting with, with Jay-Z and Beyonce. No. But that does, you know? Mm-hmm. That's crazy to me. Yeah. It's crazy. No, she, she angled, she finagled, she <laughs> manipulated, and she got her fucking way. <laughs> oh, and the, now the, she's an American princess. This, uh, this nobody prince, fucking cares. This princess in Norway wrote a, wrote a message back to Gwyneth Paltrow. On mm-hmm. Instagram, said Let's meeting me and Gwyneth Paltrow was such a gift. Your wisdom, strength, your clear vision, and soft personality with a great sense of humor is so inspiring. Thank you for being who you are and for receiving us all with open arms. So looking forward to our next encounter. Who wrote that? Who you know wrote who that? gets to be like that? You know who gets to be so like strong and soft and inspiring, rich. Motherfucker, <laughs> but so rich like Gwyneth Paltrow that you're just like, eh, you know? Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, they're they're out there living their best life, living their fucking best life. Uh, the Emmys, they picked the Emmys this week, by the way. Super surprised Julie Roberts didn't get nominated for that show on on Amazon. She's I thought for sure she's too. one of those people you just you give it to, you know? Like, hey, thanks for doing TV. Thanks for slumming it. Here's a. I wonder, was she, I mean, have you seen it? No. You know what's weird is like, so Hulu and Amazon to me, and I don't know if everybody else is like this at home. Hulu and Amazon to me, as far as watching television programming, is still like, it might as well be in another like Europe where I'm like, oh, do we have that? Do we have that here? Right. I don't know why. I don't know why. Hulu, I know why. It's because of the ads. Like, yeah. I, I can't get down on the ads. We, you have it, right? Or you just got it? I have Hulu, yeah. Yeah. And I, I, we watched I something. I got it for The Handmaid's Tale. Yeah. We watched something. And then I just. And it just had so many fucking ads in it. Mm-hmm. I'm like, dude, I'm, why, why can't this be on normal television? I don't understand. And then Amazon still, to me, has not had a great show. Catastrophe is probably the best original programming that they've had. What's Catastrophe? It's that, um, the, uh. What's going on? Delaney, Rob Delaney. Rob Delaney? Yeah. Yeah. And uh and Sharon Hogan. Okay. Uh wrote this show together. They've done three seasons. It's so fucking good. It's really good. Okay. Um she's amazing. That's why Sharon Hogan is this comedy writer. She's written a bunch of shit. She's been behind the scenes forever and she's doing the show. Um but like Ma- Maisel, marvelous Maisel. Yeah, the Maisel. Nah. Didn't like it, we- didn't love it. Wasn't going to go there. Um, We've watched a few of those episodes. It wasn't bad. It wasn't I just bad, but I wasn't it. loving it. And it wasn't as amazing as everyone thought it was. So as far as their original programming. Yeah. That's where Netflix has you. 
Do you know what I'm saying? Their original programs are fucking insane. Awesome. Yeah. I, you know, it's funny, man. Uh, there, there was a d- debate this week with Netflix about how high you can hike your prices up before people stop mm-hmm. getting it. Mm-hmm. Um, and also, is it inevitable that they have ads? So much so that the president had to come out and make a statement this week saying, no, we're going to be ad free. And that's what this is. In order to be ad free, what do you have to do? Hike up the price? to have this much original content Mm -hmm. because they're, they're going to lose a bunch of content here coming up. And I don't even watch any old content on Netflix anymore. Yeah. I mean, what what I mean, but my thing is this with Hulu, right? With the ads and shit. It's just, it's just like watching regular TV. Mm -hmm. So why, why do I need a fucking app for that? Why not just become a channel, just become a real channel and then offer that service to everybody and then pay for it. Um, Right. it's, It's strange to me. Uh, but yeah, you know, the, the Clooney show is non-existent over there. Catch 22. Oh, right. George Clooney is a TV show on Hulu. And I haven't heard one single I word know. about it. It's invisible. The fact that Julia Roberts was invisible on Amazon is crazy to me. Yeah. And I, and I heard that show was awesome. So. And I love Julia Roberts, by the way. Oh, like, yes, I'm a I know. Big fan of hers. Oh, we know. And uh, I still was like, oh, fuck. I forget. There's a show. There's. There's stuff on, on Amazon. Mm. Shit. On Hulu. Yeah, Amazon and Hulu. Yeah. I just forget. Yeah. I just, I forget all the time. And uh, yeah, it's strange. Um, it's really fucking strange. I was surprised when, when she didn't get nominated. All those Game of Thrones fuckers got nominated. Well. It was only eight episodes and everybody didn't like it. Nobody liked this last season. Yeah. So I, I, was, I was surprised by that. Like nobody, nobody enjoyed this last season. So mm-hmm. I don't know. What, what the thing was with that. Um, I can tell you, you know, the next go round that Euphoria is going to win a bunch of shit. Oh, fuck yeah. Who's uh, Zendaya? She'll win um, that little uh, boy, girl. What? Gal? Eh, boy, girl, gal? I don't know what that is. I, 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 I think she'll probably be nominated. Yeah, she'll probably be nominated. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, last thing I want to I chat about is... Um, uh, fucking podcast, man. Uh, so Apple's trying to get into original content as well. Mm-hmm. They've got the new this new show with uh, Reese Witherspoon and Jennifer Aniston. Right. It's going to be like They've a morning. Been teasing this shit forever. 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 Steven Spielberg's going to be doing some stuff over there. Okay. Um, I, to me, you're going to get in a content war, and it's a hard game to win because it's on original content, mm-hmm. right? Um, and I don't know if I don't know if Apple has the power to do it. Um, and I find this next move interesting. They're going to start buying up podcasts. Apple. Yes, and making them exclusive or original oh. podcasts for their thing to try to take down Spotify. Spotify oh, was down one percent yesterday um, on the news of this. So I'm curious because you're the podcast messiah. Sure. A lot of people who are, are at home and don't know this. The reason, one of the, ma- the major catalysts that we got into all of this was you, you were the OG listening. You've been listening to podcasts for fucking years. 10 years, it mm-hmm. feels like. Um, what's going Back to when, happen? Like, Mark Marin was the only one doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Mark Marin and Adam Carolla, those were like the only podcasts that were on back and in the day. Look, Wondery and, you know, Gimlet are going global. Mm-hmm. Obviously, Gimlet got bought for what 250 million by spotify yep. um i'm not sure who bought wondery uh m- m- maybe it was spotify but i don't know possibly i would that would be the next one i would go after spotify one of i would go gimlet wondery yeah wolf is probably already bought up uh yeah i'm not i'm not sure there I, I, they haven't announced a deal yet but i would imagine that's on the on the horizon where does all of this go does this turn into original content now podcast for are these going to become networks essentially, like radio networks? I think that's what they're angling for because uh, they're already doing stuff like Lumify, right? Luminary, I think. Luminary, yeah. Um, and uh, Stitcher Premium mm-hmm. tried it too, where you can only get these shows on this one pay site, Str- Stitcher Premium. So yeah. I think that's it's an angle that people I think are going to try and take but it's so hard to 
because it's an mp3 upload so it's so hard to make it exclusive to something but um because you can not be stolen or ripped like the easiest thing to rip is a podcast right oh yeah easily so i besides the song but yeah yeah so it'll be interesting to see i'm that's absolutely what they're trying to do it's just how do you do it because every time i personally hear uh listen to these things on patreon listen to them on stitcher premium listen to this on here i just shut down because i only go yeah uh, by the way it looks like wondery it's actually backed by 20th century fox okay so that's that's uh that's surprising to me um but yeah i that's universal music group gonna... is, is partnering with them on um fucking dirty johns man i mean it Dirty is. John, what? What are they doing with Dirty John? Uh, they produce it, I guess. Oh, okay. What they is Dirty John? Sh- so Dirty John is a it's a podcast. They made it into a Bravo show. Did mm-hmm. really well. Got nominated and stuff. Um, Gimlet actually made the Amazon show that you're talking about. Yes. With Julie Roberts. Yep. So they made it, but they were the people that wrote the podcast were really heavily involved and producers on the amazon show which was unheard of like these people that wrote a podcast it's strange so i was approached about three weeks ago uh to write one of these things to do it and i had a long conversation with the guy and um man here's here's my issue with it right the time that goes into it and then getting actors and all of this shit like let's say you do a 60 minute podcast how long are these things dirty john Dirty John is 45, 40, 47 to 50 minutes. Okay. So you look at that. That is basically a one hour scripted show the in the drama world. The podcast is not scripted. It's not. No. So it is a investigative. It's a real story mm. about this guy that infiltrated, love bombed. Okay. Pretty much this family got killed by the daughter. Anyway, so they did an investigative report podcast on it but that's still super hard as we know so you need clips you need interviews you need the editing process the editing is insane so with the gimlet show that they did um homecoming uh that was scripted and they got like all these actors you know big actors for the show for the podcast that weren't actually in um the amazon show but you know the plates rustling it's like they really need to be in these sets right sure or i don't know add that after but that's insanely hard so like you were saying to do that might as well just shoot something like you're gonna have the actors there anyways you're gonna have the sound there anyway then the only thing you're missing is a camera man i because i again so i had this conversation with this guy and this is what i said to him and i said look to write something that long it's essentially a one hour drama mm-hmm. and then you have to write 10, mm-hmm. 10 or 12, right? Mm-hmm. That would be your season. Mm-hmm. Essentially, that's exactly what it is for Netflix or cable or, mm-hmm. you know, um, then you got to get actors to read it and perform this whole thing and have a solid through line through all of it so that people want to stay on board and keep listening. Mm-hmm. Because if it if, if it sucks after episode one, nobody's coming back for it. Mm-hmm. And I said, I don't understand why I just wouldn't write another book. Okay, because the audio book, at least I could read myself. I already hire actors for that, and I make more money off of that rather than this. Um, now, here's what's happening with this, and this is in the LA Times. With that wondery, they're partnering up to make these podcasts first as a test. Yeah, but that's what I to adapt into TV shows and films. But it's like, man, how, coming from that background, right? Typically, you would you would write one script, and that would be your pilot. For let's say it's I don't know, one tree hill off the top of my head, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, you would write a one tree hill script that would be your pilot episode. Your agents would then shop that for you with the TV networks. If it failed or if everybody passed, then you only wrote you put your heart and soul into one fucking one hour drama, mm-hmm. and then you move on with your life. I have a really difficult time telling somebody to write a full fucking season of this without getting paid massively. To be like, hey, man, go and write a full season of this and then act it out, cast it. Or with the Dirty John thing you were telling about, how many editors does that, that take to yeah. scour through that, that mm-hmm. footage for hours and hours mm-hmm. and hours? And interviews. So 
Yeah. And uh, like re- just voiceover and you do still need actors because they like read a note. Yeah. You know, and, um, I can't, I'm not going to say who this person is who approached me, mm-hmm. but he had ties to Disney and Star Wars in particular. And he uh-huh. said, look, he'd been working with the Star Wars franchises and all that stuff in all capacities mm-hmm. for years and years and years. And he said that they were trying to get into scripted stuff st- for Star Wars for podcast. And that was already in development behind the scenes um, to even push that even further, that franchise. And I was like, mm-hmm. shit, it was hard to wrap my mind around. I was like, no, I think that it would work maybe for someone that has thinks that they have an amazing idea for either a TV show or a movie and they can get one podcast pilot if you can just record it even if it's in a studio with voices add whatever weird sound effects that you want to add a narration or something right because i do feel like just a script at this point uh is not going to do it um for anyone that's buying shows right like you know, you have to film something, right? Or you have to have you have to have something to show the suits, essentially, because the script, if it doesn't have any name attached, if it doesn't have da da da, it's just not going to work. So, for me, I don't think it's a horrible idea. I don't know if you could do ten episodes, but if you could get one good pilot of something that you really, really think is amazing, and no one will like. You know, yeah, yeah, give yeah. it a read. Yeah, it is a way, and I think it may be of something that might happen in the future. I don't love a scripted podcast myself. I don't either. I, I, it's not why I listen to podcasts. Yeah, but it's a lot of people do. Obviously, a lot of people do. So it's a way. It is. I don't know yeah, about I just I, I I probably spoke with him for two. about an hour and a half about it, and uh, again, just as a writer of. of TV and films and books and all that stuff. I just could not wrap my mind around the idea of that. Um, I could see a serialized book flipping that over afterwards, but uh, yeah, um, crazy conversation. But the, the reason why I bring this up to the audience is this is how big it's getting and this is where it's going right now mm-hmm. where it's just like, man, uh, it feels foreign to have stories read almost like the 19... 19- 50s on a radio and people are paying paying Mm -hmm. a lot of fucking money for it like this this wondery just got a lot of money for this deal and uh yeah man uh it's it's crazy uh crazy to me but uh anyways we'll get to the revolutionary figure of the day and i i think we should probably give this to earwolf after we we were just talking about they were they were the first ones i think that i can remember in the biz right yep who would kind of put it all together in a media company We've started our own media company here, Tetherball Academy Media. And, um, you know, we're in a, we've moved from what? So they were the first people to even go out to advertisers? Yes. And they were, by the way, they were our first company on Drinking Bros. So Jeff Ulrich is probably, when you talk about the father of podcasts, he's the first one that made it lucrative. Got it. So he was the first one that, and he would go, I think it was legal zoom possibly was the first advertiser oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. that he went out to, they didn't see any return from it. They, they signed up for like three months. They didn't see anything. And then after they quit their advertising with them, they started getting bombarded and like just blew up from it. And they were like, that's why you have to like give them at least hear it 12 times. Right. So he came up with that whole thing and he sold, he, he was the first one to sell his podcasting media company for 50 million. Oof. And back in the day, I think it was like 2014. May, I mean, back in the day, that's like fucking what for a podcasting yeah. media company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and he did a mid roll as well. He started that. Really? Yeah. We, we, we were with mid roll as well. Yeah. Um, so back in the day when we first started, yeah, they reached out to us for drinking bros, uh, podcast. And, um, that's how we knew this whole world was necessary. But, you know, we, we started in a garage, uh, for drinking bros, Mm -hmm. starting in a garage essentially for Ross Patterson revolution. 
and then uh, upstairs. And now we're in a studio with other shows and all this stuff and uh, hope to expand. Um, uh, and it's exciting. It's fun. It's just a, it's a crazy world out there right now. It's uh, a crazy world. But imagine for, the, for Jeff being like even crazier back then being like, hey, advertise on our podcast. podcast. Yeah, yeah. I mean, people would look at him and he was the first one to say like, I was a millionaire and nobody understood what the fuck I did. Yeah. Still, when you say podcast, it's like, oh, cute. Well, that's sweet. Right? How sweet. So he was like, it was such a weird feeling to have made all this money from this really successful business that everyone looked at as like yeah. bullshit. Yeah. So thanks, Jeff. I think Jeff Ulrich should get it. All right. Uh, for sure, man. Uh, Any who's shapes. Fun show. <laughs> Happy Monday, everybody. Oh, God. Alone Don't. In the Again, one paw print on the divorce <laughs> papers dipped in ink. Hope everybody uh, lives their best Gwyneth Paltrow life this week. I really do. Goopinar. Goopinar. Uh, for Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables, I am Ross Patterson. This is The Revolution. Good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs>